SDO Isabella Radio Base Instruction. Come on, Mopper! Yay! Mopper pa awi, Mopper pa kuhit, Mopper sa yaw at Mopper lusuka. When learning continues in Mopper edukalidad. Hey! When learning continues in Mopper edukalidad. Great day, dear grade 6 learners! How are you today? I hope you're doing well! Welcome back to another journey of learning in Physical Education 6. For today's lesson, I will be your radio teacher, Bonifacio A. Lapai, your partner in learning. This is a new fun and exciting day. So, make sure you are relaxed, ready, and on the go for today's activity. Before anything else, let me ask you first a question. Are you excited to learn our new lesson today? Very good! At this time, please get your learning activity sheet for today's lesson in PE6. Make sure that you have your learning activity sheet, pen, and paper with you. Prepare also yourselves for the execution of the skills involved in the game, especially our traditional games, as we go on to our lesson. May I just remind those who are watching live in our Facebook page, you can participate by dropping your answers in our comment section. Before we start the discussion, let us have a recap first on our previous lesson. You studied the different safety rules or precautions and procedures to prevent injuries and provide a secure learning environment. Did you remember the class? Excellent! Today, you will learn something new that will surely enjoy as you execute skills involved in a certain game. Are you ready, children? Let's play and enjoy! Striking or fielding games are activities in which players score points by striking an object and running to designated playing areas or prevent opponent from scoring by retrieving the object and returning it to stop the play. By playing these games, participants will learn the key skills and tactics for games such as baseball and softball. Some of these striking or fielding games are our Filipino traditional games include Shato. Let us learn and feel how it is to play what your parents had been playing when they were kids. Here is a traditional game that will make you sweat and happy. Shato is not your common sports. It is a game played in the suburbs and rural areas of the Philippines, but similarly played in the Middle East that goes by the name Guta Laguti. The game makes use of two sticks, one longer than the other. The longer stick will serve like a bat, and the shorter stick serves like the hit. There needs to be two teams to play this game, the hitter and the fetcher. The concept of the game is to hit the shorter stick with the longer stick as far as it can go, and when this happens, the hitter will run to a marked area. 
there will be four marked areas just like in baseball and while the other team is fetching the shorter stick the hitter will have to make it to the home base hitting the first mark the second the third and back to the home base the fun part of the game is that while the hitter is running from one mark area to the other he or she must be shouting the name of the game as in Chato. In this game, the learners will know how to play as a team, practice math skills such as counting, twos, threes. It will also develop their batting, running, breathing, and catching skills. Are you still with me, class? Very good! Dear Grade 6 Learners, The materials needed in the game are 1 foot long stick, 1 half foot short stick, and a small hole on the ground, and a playing field or space. To know very well this traditional game, here are the mechanics. Player A becomes the hitter and player B as the catcher. It is played outside on the ground where one digs a small square hole which is slanted where they put the small wood so that it sticks out. Player B hits the wood with the stick so that it catches air enough to be hit by the stick. The farther the wood gets hit, the more points one gets, usually counted by the number of stick length. If player A risks, he may try to add a multiplier to his score. By hitting the wood upwards twice in one turn before striking it forward, the points will then be counted by the number of wood length instead. Player B, on the other hand, has to anticipate and catch the small piece of wood to nullify the points and become his turn or looks forward to player A to miss hitting the wood. Sometimes, the losing player is punished. The penalty is hopping on one foot from a designated spot marked by the winning player. This is done again by hitting the wood with the stick in midair as far away as possible. The spot where it lands is where the losing player starts until he reaches the hole. In this game, the pupils learn how to play as a team. Practice math skills such as counting twos, threes. It will also develop their batting, running, and catching skills. Did you follow the mechanics of our traditional game class? That's great! Please be guided with safety precautions before executing the game. Establish medical readiness, a self-reported healthy status, and free from any sickness. For the proper clothing, avoid clothing that is too tight or that restricts movement. Probably, with this episode, you have now an understanding on how Shato is being done. Okay, let us try to execute the skills needed in the game like running, hitting, batting, counting, and catching. You may try to seek participation from your family members and if you have your classmate beside you, ate, kuya, mama, papa, or cousins who want to make fun with you. Please consider the health protocols to avoid virus infection 
and safety rules during the skills execution to avoid injury. Let us do the skills now. Please stand up and execute the skills I am telling to you. Last, get ready and enjoy. Let us do running for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Next skill is batting. You may get a stick. Do it for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Another skill needed is hitting. You may still hold your stick and hit on air for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. And the other skill is catching. You may throw a ball or crumpled papers for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. And the last skill is counting. You may count one, two, three, four, five. Wow, you are all great and excellent because you performed well the different skills of the shot game. Now, are you ready for our quiz class? Please get a clean sheet of paper and pen. Let us now put your understanding to a test. I know you are all excited and ready. Bear in mind that it is best to follow instructions. For those who are following in our FB Live, you can write your answer in our comment section. Listen carefully so that you could be able to answer correctly the given task. For test 1, true or false, write true if the statement is correct and false if it is wrong. I will read the questions twice. Let us start. Question number 1. To play the shadow, there needs to be two teams to play this game, the hitter and the fetcher. Question number 1. To play the shato, there needs to be two teams to play this game, the heater and the fetcher. Question number two. The concept of the game shato is to hit the shorter stick with the longer stick as far as it can go and when this happens, the heater will run to a marked area. Question number two. The concept of the game shato is to hit the shorter stick with the longer stick as far as it can go and when this happens, the heater will run to a marked area. Question number 3. The proper clothing of the players is too tight or that restricts movement. Question number 3. The proper clothing of the players is too tight or that restricts movement. For test 2, enumerate the skills needed in a game, Shato. I will give you 10 seconds to answer. For test 2, enumerate the skills needed in a game, Shato. I will give you 10 seconds to answer. Yeah, hey! We have just finished the quiz for today. Are you ready to know if your answers are correct? Did you answer all the questions? Now, let's see if you got all the correct answers. So here are the correct answers. Please check honestly. For question number one, true. Number two, true. Number 3, false. And for test 2, the skills needed in a shadow are running, 
batting, hitting, catching, and counting. Now we've done with the checking. I hope you got a good score in this quiz. You are all excellent. Congratulations, learners! Now, give yourselves a clap. And now, that's it for today. I hope and pray that you learned a lot in our lesson today. Reminding you, grade 6 learners, to stay healthy, wash your hands with soap frequently, wear face masks, and always remember, health is wealth. Always study well and perform your tasks on time. This is your radio teacher, Bonifacio E. Lapay. It has been a great time learning with you. Thank you and may God bless you all. Patuloy! Patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa gaan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo! Radyo! Radyo Eskwela!